Ladies and gentlemen, as we join viewers from around the world, this is Fight Club Rush 14 from the beautiful city of Vestro, Sweden! <laughs> Fight Club Rush presents three three-minute rounds in the amateur lightweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner with a record of two wins and two defeats. Weighing in at 69.7 kilograms. From Sweden, Jafar Mohammed. And his opponent in the red corner with a record of three wins and one defeat. Weighing in at 69.7 kilograms. From Sweden, Robin the Pirate Kozani. Your referee in charge of the action, Dan Eklund. Okay, here we go. First bout of the night as we see Yafar Mohammed in the blue corner against Robin the Pirate Kozadi in the red. And Kozadi was actually supposed, supposed to fight Wahid Jara of Redline Training Center in Malmo. Unfortunately, Jara had to pull out due to an injury. Oh. 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 Nice little instantly. start. Instantly. No time there. Takes him to the ground instantly. And we know that Robin Kozadi, despite his young age, he's very, very scrappy on the ground. Oh, definitely. And one of the most brutal submissions you'll see this year. He holds in an amateur contest against the very, very hyped Finn Niko Aikunen, who had about three times as much amateur experience. What a beautiful transition of Muhammad to go up and mount. Wow, straight to mount. Now, this is trouble for Robin right away. But he's tricky. He's looking for a leg here. I think he's looking for an entrance to a leg lock. He has great leg locks and great guillotines. You can see Jaffer is really struggling to keep oh, this mount. Oh. Beautiful. Wow, turning the tables on his opponent is Robin the Pirate Kuzadi. Very strong. Wow. Jaffer started smiling there, but he really, whoa. Oh, oh. Uh, Robin pulls guard, that's very interesting. Yeah, you don't traditionally see that very much in MMA. You see it a lot in BJJ, but... Oh, he is trying to do something with it, with his legs, maybe going from armbar or triangle here. You can see Jaffa really putting his upper body, like pushing his frame, but he, he is losing posture when he's doing this. You can see it's, yeah, it's difficult to yeah. grapple with these shin oh, pads. Look at the armbar. Arm oh, he needs to put pressure down but that arm does not no it's it's pretty safe in the corner of muhammad calling for some more strikes from top position easier said than done though when you've got such an active guy on the bottom yeah, yeah i, I want i, I want to see jeffrey muhammad really really posture up here yeah. and not put his hands on the mat and and you know push down when you're in full guard yeah but kuzadi's guard is pretty dangerous here yeah. he is going for submissions Mohamed is past uh, half guard now. Oh, There's the strike. Yeah. Single leg X here oh. from uh, Kusadi. Going for a, he can't go for heel hooks, but straight ankle lock here in a weird position. That's a belly down straight ankle lock. That's pretty tight. I believe that's what, how he tapped out Nico Aikunen in Finland. But he gives Ooh. up his back, gives up full mount. 30 seconds left. Wow, great display of grappling from Mohammed. Watch oh, the arm, watch the arm. This might, this is, this might be it. Oh, that looks very tight. Oh, this is close. Just 15 seconds left to go here in our opening round. I think he's getting out yeah. of that. Ooh. The pirate is out of danger. Let's see if he pays back his opponent with some ground and pound. Guillotine. What a oh. round. Whew. That's going to be hard to judge. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me, Sebastian. Don't ask me. Don't even look at me. <laughs> How about the body language coming off of Yafa Muhammad matching his opponent's hype and swag a little bit yeah. there? No, these uh, amateur fighters are super talented. 
Well, Panny, as a current top-ranked pro UFC fighter, it's a tough one, but break down this first round. Who do you think held the advantage there? I would say I would give the advantage to Muhammad that he been he started off strong and he finished off strong. Mm -hmm. And but in the middle and he got some amazing ground and pounding, which actually looked really dangerous there for Kozadi. And he came into this mount position and this ground and pound position that is like really hard to look past him here. He I think he definitely won the round. Yeah, that's a good call. I mean, that ground and pound in itself might have sealed the deal, in yeah. my opinion. He also had full mount twice at his back. An I'm really surprised that Kozadi pulled guard there because, I mean, he's billed as a little bit more of a striker. He actually won the silver medal in the Swedish National uh, Championships in Muay Thai in his yeah. weight division. But he believes in his guard. Clearly. A strong guard. Oh, oh, spinning back kick right to the bread basket. Wow. Oh, nice right hand from Mohamed. Well, fighters trading here. A little bit of a lazy shot there from, from Kozadi. He does have the advantageous position here up against the cage, though. He might pull guard again here, maybe. Oh, wow. nice trip. Nice trip. That was a very good trip. See if the ground and pound follows. Yeah, but I think he's looking for a guillotine. Oh, yeah. He has a mean guillotine. Oh, he needs to be careful of his yep. neck there. Yep. Jeff, it isn't. Okay, oh. that was risky, though. That was risky. Yeah. He still needs to get some height on yeah. his head. He can't keep his head that low. But now I think he survived that. And when he passes, when he gets his ground and pound, and he's dangerous. Oh, definitely, he showed that in the first round. Might be biding his time. Giving it open some oh. angles oh, here. Armbar again. This looks better. Yep. That's much tighter, and he needs to be careful. He needs to stack down. Yeah, Jaffa can also put his right knee there. Be, be a little mean. Put his right knee on, like, the chin of Robi. Might pull his arm out here, but... It Obo is Plata. worth... It is worth mentioning that Kuzadi's submission victory wow. representing Team Sweden was by a third round armbar. Right. Very good of Mohamed getting that top position back. And this is what happens. I mean, Robin takes a lot of risks. Yeah. So Jafar really, I mean, he, he defends and then he uh, makes good use of these attacks yeah. and ends up on top. It's almost at times as if Kozadi is too exciting for his own good. Yeah. Like, he could be a little bit safer. Yeah. Very good ground and pound from Mohamed there. Oh, oh, I think that connected. I think that was a heavy right hand. Kozadi might be hurt, yeah. yeah. Oh, he might. Might get flattened he... out here. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, this is yeah. dangerous. Very good oh. ground and pound. Solid Ooh. ground and pound Hard. here from Yafar Whoa, Muhammad. He needs it's to move that. It's all over. Wow. wow. Yeah. Welcome to Fight Club Rush. Yafar Muhammad gets the second round TKO victory, and his team are ecstatic. Yeah, I think as we as we thought, those punches were pretty hard. Yeah. I mean, he was rocked. But he he did take like. He took a lot of the punches in the first round as well. Yeah. And, you know, this is still an amateur fight. Yeah. That was the right call. Definitely. Let's take a look at some of that action. Yeah. Oof. Oof. The ground and pound, and he the keeps... Heavy the right hand right yeah. there. Oof. I mean, credit to Kozadi. He is a true warrior, or pirate perhaps, but, I mean, the referee can only allow so much. And I love how Muhammad cho he, he, he chooses ground and pound yeah. over submission. Mm. Well, Mohamed is more of a striker, at least if you look at statistics. So perhaps that even includes ground and pound and ground fighting.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee calls stop the action at 2 minutes and 27 seconds of round number 2. For your winner by TKO, Jaffa Mohammed. Oh! All right, I'm here with your winner, Yafar Mohammed. You just plundered the pirate and secured an impressive, violent finish here. How do you feel after that victory? Uh, I feel very good. To, today, the pirate sailed the wrong waters, so he can't plunder me. Well, that is fight, a good fight. Absolutely. You guys put on a great pace and it was pretty hectic. He was threatening with submissions from the bottom. It looked like that second armbar attempt was close. Yes. How tight was it? It was very tight. I, I just stacked on top of him and my thumb was slightly not aligned. So I managed to get it out. But yeah, it was really close. And you took this fight on short notice. You know, you came in here as a little bit more of the unknown fighter. That's got to add a little extra boost to this victory, right? There is no short notice, baby. I just fought last week, and I'm going to fight again in like two weeks, one week. And then Swedish Championship in February. Well, clearly a man on a mission, exactly the exciting type of fighter that we like to see here in Fight Club Rush. Do you think we can see you back here sometime next year, perhaps in February? Definitely. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, let's give a huge shout to our winner, Yathar Mohammed.